I'm just shiny ghost. Hi everyone, I'm dealing with natural light right now, so if I got super bright or super dark, I'm going to be trying changing that throughout the whole video, but I might just be a ghost today, so bear with me. Today's video is a February favorites, some of the things that I got for my birthday, some of the things that I've discovered, makeup, food, other stuff, so let's get right into it. I'm going to start out with one of my hobbies that I really enjoy doing, but I don't actually have a lot of time to do. Throughout my week, I have so much going on that I don't concentrate on one thing at a time. I'm always planning on the next thing, and I never have time to just relax. But this last month, I've decided to stop doing that and to focus on something, and to help me with that is... Puzzles. My favorite puzzles to do are Thomas Kincaid. He's my favorite artist of all time. And we have a couple of his puzzles. This is the one that I've already accomplished and finished, and I'm working on a second one right now. But if you are stressed or you feel like your day is too much, I would recommend you doing a puzzle. One day I came home from work super, super stressed and decided to start this and realized like an hour had passed and I was calm when normally it takes me a lot longer to calm down from a really stressful day at work. So puzzles are definitely something I had to mention for my favorites this month. Moving on to food. One of the things that I got for my birthday was a chocolate box from my dad. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> um, actually it was empty like I'm going to say five days after my dad got it for me. So I'm kind of impressed myself, kind of sad with myself because I want more, but Valentine's Day is over, so you don't get the heart boxes anymore. It's all like, I don't know, what is the next holiday? Easter? St. Patrick's Day? I was watching one of the Ladylike BuzzFeed videos the other day. And one of the girls, Kristen, uh, was talking about goldfish. And I realized how long it had been since I'd eaten goldfish. It's right here. It's kind of dusty. That's fine. I have a little goldfish snack container in the shape of a goldfish. I have another one that doesn't have glasses. I was that kid that always had goldfish. It was my favorite snack. The only thing I wanted to eat when I came home from school. The only thing I wanted in my snack bag at school. Goldfish is like the best cracker because not only is it the shape of something fun but they taste really good and you can like eat a whole bag without realizing you ate the whole bag but then you don't even feel sick so I mean it like cancels itself out right guess what I found in my garage I found goldfish so I didn't have to go buy it the bag is half empty I've had some help with Aaliyah eating this. But I remember why this is one of my favorite snacks. And if you haven't eaten goldfish in a long time, I would recommend you go out today and go get some and eat it and remind yourself of your childhood or of last week. It's a universal snack. All ages. All accepted. The next thing that I have is some beauty products. Uh, the first thing is a, a lovely container of old chicken broth. Um, actually, it's just the pot that I'm using for my face wash. I have, I don't know if you can see that in there. Looks kind of grungy. I have very sensitive skin and my mother suggested this to me a couple weeks ago and all it is is coconut oil and baking soda. It's half a cup of each and you mix it until it's a paste, wipe it off on your hand and then scrub it all over your face and your body heat warms up the coconut oil and pulls out all the toxins. What you do is after you apply it, you can rinse it off with uh, warm water or you can just go right into the shower like before you take your shower or when you're washing your face at the end of the day. I've been doing both and I find that if my skin is a little bit dry afterwards, I can always put just a little bit more of plain coconut oil on my face and it helps combat the dryness. Uh, this has been life-changing for me this month. Even if you don't have sensitive skin and you want to try a new product that isn't 500,000 chemicals, try this one because it's really good. 
All right, the next beauty thing that I have is actually a, um, it's a Norox face wash. Uh, not face wash, it's a face cloth, a face cloth. Basically, it helps clean your face without, like, using scrubs or things like that. Um, and I'm finding it's been really helpful towards my sensitive skin, just like this. I've been kind of using these together, and it's been really, really helping. Um, Norwex is a brand that's been around for a while, and I'm not going to do the little plug-in, but they're really great. It's an alternative to buying um, cloths or scrubbies or those things because these last longer, and they're better for the environment. Really good shout if you have sensitive skin. If you don't have sensitive skin, if you have a face, use this. They're great. Going along with the beauty line, I picked up two things from Lush this last month. Um, one of them is called Dream Cream, um, and it's a hand and body lotion. It smells like oats and like kind of like when you had oat baths when you were a kid if you were sick. If you had oat baths. I had oat baths, so um, that's what it reminds me of. But it's really hydrating, um, and during the winter time, my skin gets really, really dry. So I've been using this um, on my body and on my face sometimes if I need more of a boost after washing my face and using coconut oil. That is how much that I've used, and I got this at the beginning of February, and there's still so much left in the pot. Like, you don't need a lot. It goes a really long way. I love Lush and their products are great and I didn't react to it so it's this is probably gonna be a staple in my life now I also got one more thing from Lush um, and it's the ocean salt um, face and body scrub and I really enjoy scrubs especially for my legs during the winter time because when they get dry I often get a lot of ingrown hairs or rough spots or eczema it helps take away dead skin and brightens and moisturizes makes it easier for when you want to shave or just having overall softer skin. So that's another, it's been a staple for a while, but I haven't used it in a couple months and then rediscovered it again this month. So I decided to talk about it now for anybody who doesn't know about it. Another Lush product that is fantastic. Another one of my products that I have found, which I've used in the past, um, but found again this last month is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Salt Spray. I flip my hair upside down and I take this product and I spritz it all on my roots and on my ends and then I just kind of do this and then it helps my um, curls, which don't like to be very curly around the top of my head, um, have more volume and then I just let it air dry and then it smells really nice. It smells like dove and sea salt. So, win-win. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. Um, ta-da! This is a rose that my dad got for me for my birthday. As you can see, it has withered and died and I need to take care of it. But this isn't the rose I want to talk about. I want to talk about the white rose that my friend John gave me for my birthday. Um, because there's the story. When I was in high school, I would buy my mom a bouquet of white roses. And I did this for five years, people. Five years. And every year I would get it and I would bring it to her and she would seem so happy and excited to have it. And I felt good for giving something for her that she liked and wanted. The fifth year that I presented my mother with the white roses, my sister Jessica leans over and goes, Brittany, you know that mom doesn't like white roses, right? And I look at Jess. And I look at my mom, I go, excuse me? Yes, you do. I give them to you every year. And my mom looks at me and says, um, actually, I don't like white roses. Five years I had been buying her white roses to find out that she didn't even like them. And then, and then I asked her, would you have told me if Jess had said anything? And she said, probably not. John had heard that story the week leading up to my birthday, so he went around and he found one white rose to give to me. Thank you, John, for that gift. It was really nice, funny. Those are my favorite kind of gifts. When my family and I went to Hawaii, one of the days that I planned for activities, we went to the lavender farm because I love lavender. And when we went, none of the lavender was in bloom, but we were able to walk around the whole 
um, garden and see all the other flowers that were there. And we were able to go into the shop and buy some of the lavender things that they make. Since then, I've talked about how I don't like flowers and I don't like getting bouquets. But if I could, I would love to have a lavender bouquet. And so do you know what my dad did? He got me dried sprigs of lavender for my birthday. They smell amazing. They look gorgeous. They're like in this little burlap sack tied around. Future whoever romantic person of my life, don't give me flowers. Just give me sprigs of lavender and I'll love you forever. Unless we break up and then, then that'd be a bad memory. Okay, dad, you're the only one that's allowed to get me this. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay, that was all of my favorites of February. Please let me know uh, if you've liked some of the things that I've done, if you've tried them, if you haven't tried them and wanted to, talk to me about it. I can give you references. I'll put all of the information in the description below. Give it a thumbs up. That le really lets me know if you liked it or not. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. The hardest part of the video is making a thumbnail. And that means I gotta hold things up like like, okay, so I'm choosing lavender and this, and I'm just gonna, like, be all cool.